Hello everyone, welcome to App Unbox. Today we are going to review the Radar app. It's actually a web app. So now we're going to walk you through and we're going to show you all the features that Radar has to offer. You can manage all your social media accounts in this Radar web application. So let's get started with it. Here we have Radar. Just go to radar.io and then you have to, uh, let's explore the website first and see what are they offering. Well, they're offering a lot of features, you know, you can manage all your social media accounts in one place with Radar, streamline your social media management, you can publish, engage, track, and analyze all of your posts, etc. And it's a unified platform for every kind of social media marketeer. And here they are saying why they do and what they do. So you can read it if you want, then we will just move into the features. Let's see what features we're going to be getting here. Explore the key features, okay? Unified social media management platform. That's okay. These are the key features, guys. Social inbox, scheduler. Well, as you can see, guys, they have offered me a lifetime of 20% discount. Well, it's a limited time offer, but, well, I'm not purchasing it at the moment, so I'll just cut it and move on. So we have scheduler, we have social monitoring, we have analytics, password manager, which is a really good thing feature but you know our Google Chrome does it better than this so and then we have hashtag manager URL shortener landing pages task manager and collaboration subscriptions all of these features will be provided to you by radar now let's go to the pricing well they are claiming that they provide the most affordable social media management pricing so let's see what pricing are they offering us well the basic is for ten dollar a month you can manage three social media profiles well you can manage 90 posts with 90 posts per month in it yeah but it's only available for one user with three social media profiles and then we have premium here you can just add more social profiles if you need but uh, you it will have to be at least six social profiles increasing it you'll just have to pay more but uh, you can't decrease it less than six and you have unlimited posts per month you have social inbox analytics and you can use it up to five users you can also increase this and then you can start your 14 days free trial and then we have the professional which is $60 I don't think you will be needing the professional because it's for a large company or something but uh, I think if you are a regular professional uh, for and you need it for your own business then the premium would be enough you and the basic is only for someone who's just managing their own personal social profiles so if you really want to get something handy out of it then you'll have to go to the premium package as you can see basic is offering almost nothing but the premium is offering a lot of things here like a team assignment quick replies pin tax etc well at least we have can find basic package so let's get started and i'll just sign into my profile at the moment so after using it for 14 days you will not be able to use radar anymore unless you purchase one of their plans so let's move on we have publishing here and as you can see we have content pool discover streams etc but now we'll just move to settings and then we'll go to channels and let me connect to my facebook page here as you can see guys after logging into my facebook i've selected app and box and now i'm gonna hit connect and connect to my Facebook page to the Radar application. As you can see, App Unbox has been connected to Radar right now, and I can manage my conversation, and it supports the feature. Let's see, monitoring, and well, it's not supporting. Scheduler, yes, it supports. Analytics, yes, it's also supporting. Okay, guys, after adding our account, we're just going to move to tasks, and here we can create a board, and as you can see, I've created a board. You can add tasks here for all your team members like find title of a post then doing editing video and what is done is posting you can also add new boards if necessary like let's say edit well we can uh, choose repost and then we can just say edit title 
as you can see you can add more boards and more tasks here for your team member to manage if you have the bigger plan actually more than basic and then we have publishing here you can schedule your post as you can see whichever day you want to post well today is day 25 and you can create a post for well, let's say 27 you want to create a post you can select your channel you can select your facebook page you can select an image or a video or well the fun fact here is that you can select your image by uploading you can use canva directly here or you can use vista create or adobe express so if, if you use canva here as you can see as you can see you can create anything that you want in canva let's go and check out this feature right now well i'm gonna just sign in with google so guys after signing in with google as you can see canva has popped up in radar now you can just edit or so guys you can edit your photo or anything here as you can see i'll change the text okay if you want to change something you can select a template and change it and then you can just select publish from here and then it will directly go to radar as you can see it has already been imported from canva to radars and you can just select schedule and your post will be scheduled although you can select your time here well date is selected you can also change date if necessary as you can see i'm changing date and you can change time also anyhow you can change date and time and you can then you'll have to edit title you'll have to get caption and then you'll have to click schedule and your post will be scheduled as you can see guys the, my content has been created so you can schedule your contents like this now guys moving to the streams feature if you want to use this feature you'll also have to create a new board here so i'm not gonna watch a training video here let's now we're gonna we're gonna hit create and create a new board here as you can see we can uh, we're gonna add source app and box and our board has been created as you can see guys i can take a glimpse at my feed from this uh, board here so if you add your page here you will be able to see feed also but uh, make sure to have multiple accounts in order to see multiple feeds here because i only have set one account so i can only see the app and box here so i'm just gonna remove this one uh, because i already have one now let's move to utilities okay guys in utilities we have ai post generator you can just provide a text here you can select which stock image provider you want to choose let's say pixels and then you're going to select a language then you're going to hit some hashtags and then you're going to have to select subject of url and then your post will be created from ai post generator and since i haven't posted a url here then that's why my post is not being created so so guys after setting a url here and clicking on the post generation invalid integration key i don't know which invalid integration key is popping up here well maybe because the ai post generation is beta that's why something is not right here but this feature will be available very soon so so make sure to stay tuned and get the feature very soon because of this feature is in beta status that's why you may not get uh, what you're looking for and some you may face some problems but after it's stable it will work fine as you can see now here is hashtag manager we have all the hashtags here which hashtags are being used more and more every day so let's go and find the top 25 hashtags here we have love instigates photo of the day these hashtags are top 25 at the moment so you can go to hashtag manager and find a good hashtag for your posts then we have stock library here well all of the stocks library laxia unsplash pixels pixabay giphy tenor giphy cat imgo you can get stock images from all of these providers well you can change your provider from here well let's say that i'm going to change from luxia to pixels and if you still don't find the collection worth looking out then you can change it to any other things like let's say pixabay well you can change and get to whatever collection you want and looks like i have found something i want and i'll click on action and then i'm gonna have to click on downloads well it's here and then i'll save the image as and then save it so now guys we're gonna close this window and we're moving back to radar 
So as you can see, you can use talk library, and then we have RSS feed, we have caption templates. You can use these templates to generate caption, I guess. Let's see what it does. Plane in the sky. Let's see what caption is generating for us. Well, guess what? It's not generating any caption at the moment. Oh, so it's a caption template. We're gonna have to create our own title and caption and we can just uh, leave it here in order to use it in the future. So it's not gonna generate anything for us. You can just create your own caption template and store it here. Now we have incoming webhooks. Well, you can also store new incoming webhooks here so that you can use it in the future for your posts. Now moving to analytics. Again, we have to create a board here. So I'm just gonna select app and box because I want to create a board of app unbox here. And then we're gonna click on plus, monitoring, timeline, publishing. Well, let's say we're gonna take followers. Well, we can add more analytics if needed. So we're adding more from Facebook, followers, views. As you can see, our view timeline is here. We can add more if needed. Total view three, one unique, three user. And then we're gonna go again to Facebook and then we're gonna select engagements so that we get engagements analytics here. As you can see, we have engagement analytics already. Total seven, page three, post four. So that's how you can set up your analytics page. So now I'm gonna select something outside of Facebook like uh, monitoring. So I guess there's no data outside of Facebook at the moment. I don't know why is that so. Maybe if we add more team members and more people to our radar, then maybe these features will come in handy. But at the moment, all the features from Facebook are coming in handy. So that's how you can set up your analytics page and, and you can take a glimpse of all your analytics activities in one page. So guys, after analytics, we have the passbook. You can create your uh, master password. Let's just create a master password and then we're gonna create a master password key, okay? Now, after creating a master password, you can uh, manage all your passwords with the passbook, which is, I don't think it's necessary because our Google Chrome does it better than this, or if you're an Apple user, then your Apple password does it better than this. After that, we have another utilities here. Let's see that, well, this utility here will help you to do URL shortening and then landing, will help you to manage landing pages, and then you can manage quick replies. And after that, well, you can just, you'll have to add quick replies in order to manage them. So as you can see, you can add a lot of custom quick replies to this page. You can set how your landing page will be. As you can see, we have some templated landing pages. You can just select them. Let's select one and click on next. Page title, test and custom domain this, custom suffix. Okay, as you can see guys, this uh, we have created a landing page here. Well, I'm not gonna use that at the moment. So you can also create landing pages from here. And then we have stock library again, including all of these, Lexica, Unsplash, Pixels, Pixabay, Giphy, Tenor, and Giphy Cat. Well, it's just a stock library again, just like the previous utilities in publishing menu. So. Uh, these stock libraries are uh, more over the same. So right on the bottom we have my profile. You can change your name and email from here and then going to preferences. You can change your language, time zone, uh, whatever you want. You can change your password. You can manage your notification and uh, terms and condition. Well, we have to accept it or, or else our account won't be created, right? So accepting the terms and conditions. All right, guys. So. Now let's go to the home page and from overview, we can create post, connect the channel, invite teammates, start your subscription and notification. Let's just click on publishing and I'm gonna show you one more thing here. We're gonna have to create a new post, okay? We're gonna select our app and box again and then we're gonna select. Now, since we have demonstrated Canva already, now let's go with the Vista create this time and we're just gonna select a random image pray for peace okay so let's save it well we're gonna have to create an account we're just gonna go to sign in with google and after saving guys we're gonna have to instant download well png is better so i'm just gonna select png file format and after selecting png it has been imported to radar as you can see now we're just gonna select a title test 
and then we're gonna select caption which is also test and we have here uh, emojis uh, content library well we have caption generator uh, we have hashtag manager which we can use top hashtags we can directly import the hashtags to our post add to caption as you can see hashtags are directly being imported to our post insta food add to caption this option is really good you can also add it to your first comment and it will be added to your comment after you post to the comment section chain comments see you can add a hashtag here also so we're just gonna add a add to comment here so the first comment will be added in our post you can tag people or pages if you want okay we're not tagging anyone at the moment then you can add a location if you want and then we'll go to settings and let's review our advanced settings what we have here well we can assign users who are doing this job like only i'm in my team so i can only select one person and then we have don't shorten urls well we can shorten url and and the landing page that we created by link shortener is right here and then we have not send notifications when published now we can publish our post as public draft unlisted or private let's just select private at the moment because it's a test post now we have lots of other options here just publish it on reels just publish it on feeds and reels tabs well watch video okay i'm just gonna publish it on reels tab if caption is needed time of display plot okay if caption exceeds limit then trim it and after that you can just click on post and your post will be scheduled again so guys as you can see you can do so much with the radar web application so if you want to manage your social media the radar application is really recommendable and you can do so much out of it you will not need to upload your images you have so much images in stock library and you can just edit it in the application itself you won't need to use your pc or something you can just do everything from the web so it's really a handy thing and really portable because if you don't even have your device you can just go somewhere else some use someone else's device log into your radar account and then just post them from your radar application and plus it's giving you so much other features like the trendy hashtags they are also a really good feature to boost your post and get more reaches on your posts so i've tried to cover up all the things that radar is offering if you found it helpful guys please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more app unboxes and we're going to review more amazing applications in our channel so goodbye and take care until we meet again next time.